today, I want to show you how to use the free version of the Advanced Custom Fields plugin to add more unique information to your WooCommerce products. Then, crucially, I'll show you how to display that information in a clean table layout, which you can add to product pages like this one here. Now, very quickly, let's talk about the difference between a custom field and a custom taxonomy. Custom fields, which are also known as post meta, are individual pieces of information that can be added to your products in the edit screen for each product. They're flexible and can be used to store a whole bunch of different data, including text, images, and other media. Now note that they are unique to each product, so you're just going to update them on a per product basis, and they're not meant to share information between products. I've used custom fields in my example to be able to write in information like the brewing details for this particular type of coffee, as well as the altitude, as this is information which is not necessarily going to be shared across all my different products. On the other hand, taxonomies provide additional ways of grouping and organizing products, just like categories or tags, and they store reusable information which can be used to group and filter products. So once again, in my example, I can show you that I used custom taxonomies for things like the roast level and the flavor profile. This allows customers to filter by those different attributes and find products within the same group. So adding any custom field or taxonomy is really easy and it just requires one free plugin. There are plenty of these plugins on the market and today I'll be using advanced custom fields. So once you've installed and activated advanced custom fields on your website, then you can navigate to ACF here and go to field groups. And this is where you can add custom fields. So I created some new custom fields under one title called product details. If I click on edit, you can see I've added two things here, altitude for the coffee altitude. And that looks like this and also brewing recommendations. And you can also change these default values. So there are some default recommendations here. I've just left this placeholder text. Then down here in the settings, you need to show this field group if the post type is equal to products. Then click on save changes. Now for custom taxonomies, we just need to go to a different spot here. Click on taxonomies. And you can see I've added three different taxonomies, in fact. So for flavor profiles, you can click on edit. First, write in the plural label. So this one profiles and then singular. And then the taxonomy key can't have any spaces, but it can have a dash, for example. You'll choose products as the post type in this case. And you can also choose to make it hierarchical. That means that you can nest further categories or taxonomies underneath this one. So you click on save for each one of these, and you can create new ones as needed. This is all very specific to coffee, but you can imagine there are countless things you can add for all kinds of different products. So just get creative. And now the next step is to add the actual values or information to your products. So if I go and click on a product, so let's go to my coffee here. I've already got a space for new product details. These are my custom fields that I added. So in the altitude section, I can add the altitude value. And in the brewing recommendations, I can write all of the information that I want to write here. Taxonomies are a little bit different. You have to add the shared values in the actual category itself, which is set up after you set up the taxonomy. So come here over on the left under products, you can see I've got these things, flavor profile, region, and roast level. These were all added after I added the taxonomy. And in here, I had to add one by one the name and slug for each of the different values. So in the flavor profiles, I added chocolatey, floral, fruity, and nutty. But in the regions, I added places like Colombia, Bogota, and Sapa Vietnam, etc. And this is the hierarchical structure that I was talking about. Underneath Colombia, we have a region for Bogota, and underneath Vietnam, we have a region for Sapa. 
Now, as promised, I want to show you how to actually display all of this information on the front end of your site, because if you just save this information for your product, it won't actually have anywhere to be displayed yet. Now, to do this, I'm using the WooCommerce product table plugin, which is a very popular solution for listing products in a searchable and filterable table. This is a very simplified version of the table. In other tutorials, I talk about how to add things like search and add to cart buttons. But in this version of the table, I stripped it back to a much more simple version. Now, as a premium plugin, you will need to purchase a copy from our website, barn2.com. You can click on the link below to go and find that. And of course, it comes with a 30 day money back guarantee as well. Now, after purchasing your copy, you'll get an email with the zip file and a product key for activation. In the WordPress admin, go to plugins, click on add new and upload the plugin zip file that you just downloaded. Then click on install and activate. And this should launch the setup wizard. Make sure your license is active and then you can actually skip the rest of the setup wizard because we're going to build each of the tables we need individually through this tutorial. So I'll show you how to recreate this simple table, which is being displayed on the individual product page. And this is just giving a lot more information about the coffee. So first of all, I'll just delete this table and add a new one. So if you're starting from scratch, you can just click on add new. So let's call this one Ethiopian coffee. And what we're going to do is add it to a page using a block or short code. So later we can copy the short code onto our product page. We don't want to display all our products in this table. We're just going to select individual product and we'll find Ethiopian coffee and click next. Now here's where it gets a little bit interesting. I don't actually want a bunch of information like the image or even the name because on the product page, that's already obvious. Summary, we also don't need. And the price and the buy options are also on the product page. So I'm going to get rid of them as well. But first, I'm going to add some new columns. And these are the custom things that we added earlier. So we have flavor profile. And we can add a link that filters it. So click on done. Then after that, we want region. Then we want the brewing recommendations, of course. And finally, the roast level. And we can also reorder these into any order we want. Get rid of that buy column. So maybe let's say the roast level first, then the flavor profile regions. If you want to edit the actual name of a heading, you can do that. Uh, the name of the column, that is. And the rest, I think, looks pretty good to me. Okay, so now let's go next. Uh, let's remove that we don't need that click on next and everything else is done i also don't want to enable filters as this is not a page where we want to search for different products we only want to display the information for one product now i can copy this short code head to my product editing screen and i can now paste this short code here in the product short description or in a different place if i want it to appear somewhere else on the page and click on update and let's view this product. Perfect. So now we have our page showing the Ethiopian coffee as well as all of the different custom fields and information that we added already to this product. By the way, I forgot to mention one thing on the edit product screen. You can add the custom information here for the custom fields. But down here, you can add the flavor profiles. And you can see I can select or deselect any of these, as well as the places of origin and the roast levels. Now, heading back to the product page, what I want to show you is if you don't want to clutter up this nice section here in this buy section with the product table, you can add this extra information in product tabs. So you can see here, I've actually already created a few custom product tabs, as well as the default ones like the description, additional information and reviews, which are always there by default. But how did I create these custom tabs? Well, that's also using a plugin from Barn2, which actually does have a free version and a premium version available for the power users. The plugin is called WooCommerce Product Tabs. 
And you can see here that I've created a bunch of custom tabs. For example, this uh, product videos. And if I edit this here, you can see it's just custom content. I've added a video link as well as some more information about the coffee. And what I want to do is show on specific products, categories, or tags. And in this case, I selected Ethiopian coffee and the category of coffee in general. And then I clicked on update. And essentially, this is what we have on the front end. And I can include more information about the coffee. And basically, what I'm selling you is if you want, you can actually move the short code for this table from the product page to the product tab. So let's just see how to do that really quickly. We'll add a new tab and I will paste the short code for that table, show on specific products and search for Ethiopian. Cool. Oh, I didn't give that tab a name. Whoops. Let's give it a title. Let's call it extra details and click on publish. All right, now let's refresh that page and we have some extra details here. And this is showing the product table, which is also showing up here. And I can remove that if I want to, because now we have it down here. Awesome. Well, I hope you found this tutorial interesting. If you want to learn more about how to set up product table on your website, you can check out this entire guide video that I made here. And to check out a free demo of the plugin, you can click on this link as well. And of course, thank you for watching.